video time with another Siggy. It's a fantastic pendejo again. Catch you with another video. So today's, uh, I'm going to say part two of being very excited. Like no bullshit. So um, I'm trying to wrap my words around this. So anyway, just like with any parent, you know, we do our best to go on ahead and raise our kids, right? We work really hard to guide them in the right direction. Things of that nature. Um, I've stated in one of my videos that I never posted. Which goes, maybe I'll one day I'll go on ahead and I'll share it. But uh, sometimes we as parents, we can't be the first of everything. That's just a fact. Um, it is okay to go on ahead and let someone else be the first. Um, be the first for your child to have that one thing. Rather it be a bike, rather it be a something. Like, look, I'm a single dad, single father, whatever the fuck you call it. I got custody of my son. I thought I was going to buy him his first car. This fucker thought otherwise. Let me explain. So, here's my wonderful 15-year-old. Hello. How are you? Good. So, um, great kid. I, I'm not shooting the shit. He is, he is a great kid. We do have our ups and downs. We do have our, you know, our, our spats. But all in all, this fucker does help me in the house. He helps me cook, clean, the whole nine in the house. So, 15 years old, he's getting there, getting to that point. Okay, now we need to start looking for a car. One of the most scariest moments for those of you parents that have already gone through it. This is a scary fucking moment for me. Hold on. Siggy time. So, yeah, it, it's scary as shit. So, I'm like, all right, we got to find him a safe car. The fluffy shit. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do none of that fluffy shit on a cute little fucking car, little four banger and all this other shit. I couldn't fucking do it. So, I talked to him. We, we ran through some cars. And I remember a car from back in the day. Here she is. So, some people may recognize this car. Others may not. This is your grandma's car. Close those doors, please. That's good. Yeah. You guessed it. That's a Buick Regal. Allow me to tell you, this is not your grandma's grocery getter. It's shining. She got a little bit of a sheen to it. It is dirty. Make no mistake. You'll see that little smudge spark right here. Okay. We came back last night and we polished that area up. This lets you know. You see the scuff marks. You see how dingy it is. This bitch is going to go through a hell of a polish. So we bought the car last night. Brought it home. Filled up the gas tank. Yeah. For his first whip. For his first car. That I paid for. So that's the most important thing. I didn't pay for it. He paid for it. You got damn right. Not because I wanted him to. Because he earned it. We had a lot of snow here in the city of Chicago. And he decided, people were asking for him. Hey, can you snow removal? Do snow removal. And yeah, he made some pretty good money off of it. Sick of time. So I told him, I said, look, I found this car. I don't know if it's a hoax. It did not turn out to be a hoax. Um, we ended up going over there. We went, well, I went over there with some money, but I also went there with a bill of sale, two copies to make sure that once we were done and saying, okay, we want the car, we were ready to go. The man wanted $800 for this car. No bullshit. Anybody would have gone over there. Here's the money. Here you go. I always say, why not let there be wiggle room? There's always wiggle room for negotiations. I said 400. Most people are like, eh, you're fucking crazy. You cheap fuck? Yes. Yes, because the card does need some TLC. Does need some work. However, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. I learned that from my piece of shit brother. So, I asked 400. My, my man went on ahead and counter offered five. Didn't question it. Here you go. Take the money. So, here she is. 
Here she is. We, there's definitely some cleaning that's got to get done. We're going to go on ahead and slowly but surely get it all cleaned out, wash it. The interior is in damn, damn hot, in great condition for it being 24 years old. Look at that. No check engine lights. Um, she does have her imperfections, but no biggie. We'll, we'll get through it. Uh, the, there is some, a little bit of engine work. He's got a seized up pulley in there that I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to fix. But again, I didn't buy it. He says, I got money. I'll buy it. I said, okay. And that's one of the things that I can be proud of. He could have looked at me and said, you buy it. And put that put that pressure on me. He said, no, I worked hard for my money. I'm getting close to that age. If I can buy myself something now and work on it, why not? So we hang around with a bunch of racers. So we're hot rodders. So for his car to be a 3,800 supercharged, yeah, he's going to have a lot of fun. I owned the 3,800. Mine was not supercharged. I had a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to do a lot of things. There's going to be a lot. There's companies out there that got a lot of stuff for this car. So, I'll make sure I'm not setting the fucking garage on fire. But, yeah, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. Like I said, you know, make no mistake, we do go, our, we do go through our ups and downs. But he handles his shit. You know, we do we do our best to communicate with each other. And he looked. He was skeptical of the car. Once he got in it, he said, I got to have it. I got to have it. So my man went on ahead, pulled out his money, and he bought it. How do you oh, feel? I found treasure. Stop. What the fuck is this? It's a mug. With Yo. a coffee stain. Yo, that'll make a good ashtray. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, no, put that over there. That'll make a good ashtray. <laughs> I don't have an ashtray. But yeah, that's where we're at. She's a little dirty. There's no trusting this pillow. You know? So we're going to go on ahead and clean her up and get her going. I got some things to go on ahead and clean up under here leaves and stuff. It's been sitting outside for a while. But she purrs like a kitten, though. I will give it that. Mm. So I'll let you, boy. <laughs>